What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty cool plugin that you can use to really speed up your video editing tasks such as adding transitions, titles, and graphics. The plugin I'm going to be covering is called Premiere Composer and this is from Mr. Horse. The link down in the video description is there if you want to download it and follow along as I demo and show the different features inside the starter pack. So this is the website, once you click on it, just click the download button next to your operating system and follow the on-screen prompts to install the extension. Inside Premiere Pro to access it, where you wanna go is up to Window and then next to Extensions, you'll notice Premiere Composer. Click on it and a new panel will open. Untwirl Starter Pack and you'll see a few different bins here. You can click on a bin and to the right, you'll notice that there's a preview next to what is shown. You can make this panel larger by just dragging it. And you also notice in the bottom left, there's a little slider to make the thumbnail smaller or larger. I recommend making it as large as possible. That way you can really see exactly what each animation does. So we have a lot of cool text boxes that you can add to your project here. To add one, just click on it and drag it to your sequence. I'll make this a little smaller. That way we can see both the program monitor and the Premiere Pro composer panel. Now in here, it's a pretty intuitive user interface. You got very similar to Essential Graphics, how you can change the different properties. You can type in your own graphics. You can change the font, bold, the position. We'll drag this over some footage, that way we have some reference. We can change the scale, make it larger or smaller, depending on your own project. It's highly customizable, where you can choose your own colors if you have a color palette that you want to make graphics for. You also have a text presets folder. There's a lot of cool animations that would probably take a long time to do on your own. So it's nice to have these in your back pocket where you can easily just click, drag it out to your timeline, and you have a, an animation ready to go. Transitions are pretty cool. There's a lot of standard, you know, zooms, shakes, distorts, light leaks, zoom ins and zoom outs. To apply it, just click on one you want and then just click and add it to your project. You'll notice it will automatically import the assets for you. It even comes with a sound effect. There you go, we have a nice zoom in effect going from the mountains to this couple here. They have a lot of nice social media graphics too, such as this one that we definitely want to use for this video to remind you guys to smash the like button. But no, really, if you're a social media person and you want to add call to action graphics, there's a lot of nice graphics in here. For example, you can drag out an Instagram one, click and put in your own wording. You can put in your own uh, username, such as, you know, John the Video Guy. There's also a lot of shape elements too. You notice arrows, for example, we can just drag out an arrow here and maybe point it to his phone. We just go over to the edit pane, click on the graphic, and when we play this back, we have a nice arrow. There's even a sound effects library too that you can play around with, see which sounds work for your own projects. A lot of really good stuff in this pack. If you're looking for other ways to help speed up your workflow in Premiere Pro, I did put together 10 quick tips that you can use, keyboard shortcuts that you can learn to really get fast at video editing. If you want to check that video out, it will be right up there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.